No audio? <laughs> hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to another um, Missouri Star Live. And look who we have today. She's back. <laughs> We're so glad that Jenny is back with us. But you had some exciting travels. Right? I did have some good travel. Yeah. Busy travel. We were in Australia, two two weeks, two back to back cruises. Yeah. It's a rough life. It is but a you know, someone's got life. to teach quilting. That's right. And if we have to go to the ends of the earth to do it, we will. That's right. But we're glad she's <laughs> back in Hamilton. So Me too. So now you guys get to enjoy her today on live. So we always start with some shout outs. So be sure to comment where you're watching from and we will We'll see what we've got. Doesn't Misty look particularly nice today? Thank you. <laughs> She's the greatest mother-in-law. She's so good. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, and Jake's here. Jake oh, is yeah. here. Jake, Jake is behind here. Behind the camera yeah. so he can shout out your questions. There we go. Yeah, he's going to tell us whatever you want to know. I'm ready. I'm Someone, ready. Uh, Sarah says your top looks like tulip pink. Is it tulip pink? <gasps> no, but it is uh, fabulous and quite blendy with the quilt. <laughs> I like stood in front of here and almost like melded in. <laughs> I became one with my quilt. Yeah. 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 That's good. Thank you, though. All right, so we have Colleen. But that would from be really Minnesota. cool. I should probably make a tulip pink top. You should. Don't you think that'd be really cool? That's, yeah. She'll do it today. That's no. how she works. This afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have Sarah from Illinois, Roseanne from Canada, Joanne from Scotland. I was just saying how I want to go to Scotland. <laughs> what time is it in Scotland yeah. right now? Yeah, We'd, I don't know. We should be there. Tell us, Joanne. Tell us what time it is. Got, we got somebody she from says Kansas good City. So someone from KC watching. How about those awesome. Royals? Local. Maybe they're downstairs. Maybe they're shopping here in town. That would be awesome. Wouldn't that be cool? They're trying to track us down. <laughs> All right. <laughs> they're after us. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will dive right in. We have kind of a fun stash buster project because Earth Day is coming up this month. So we're gonna do string quilts. Yeah, so um, I love any project that is like you know, you use whatever you have. Right. You don't need anything else for this. You just use whatever you have. And string quilts is one of my favorite things to do. It's one. It's like um, meditative sewing, honestly. Yeah, it is. I agree. It's one of those where you just sew, 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 and then you get all done. So I want to show you how to do that today. All right. Um, and also, uh, it is a really good Earth Day project. You know, I love that um, that when you it's that um, what's the what's the old quote? Uh, use it out. No, use it up. Hold on. Wait a minute. Use it in. Use Make it, it down. do or do without. That's how it ends. That's for how sure. it ends. Use it up. No. Uh, well, anyway, I love that quote because yeah. because that's me. I use it I'm, until I'm done, that's and then. That's gonna drive me crazy. We'll you think say about it. All it. The you know time. what? Somebody's gonna co come right yeah. in with that in if any moment. It, so you just watch for that, us, so we can say it. Because I actually read it last night, and I thought this is perfect for my um, tutorial today. And of course, you know, it's been like 12 hours, so my brain's not gonna remember yeah. that. All right, so to make a string quilt, you generally need a foundation paper. Right. And, um, and honestly, if any of you are my age, <laughs> you remember we used to do these on phone book pages. Oh. And for those of you younger people who don't know what phone books are. They still send them. <laughs> they still send them. Rarely. I'm like, why? Why do you send these? So we used to get these books that had all these like tissue paper sheets in yeah. them that had everyone's phone number in, you know, in your whole city on them. And we would actually just kind of slice those out and we would foundation piece on those. Oh, that's a great idea. You can't get them anymore. So once they started going away, I started going to McDonald's and asking for extra <laughs> hamburger papers. <laughs> It's a little different paper and it's a little thicker. Yeah. Um, but then I, I said to the kids one day, I'm like, it would be so cool if we could make our own papers yeah. because it's pretty convenient. Yes, it so is. Um, these are sold. They're like $9.99 or something like that. Is that right? $9.95, I think. $9.95, something. Yeah. Mom, we got the quote. Oh, we you got, got the quote. quote. All right. It's use it, it's use it up, use wear it, it out. out. Make it do or do without. That Use it up, wear it out, make it do or do That's without. It. That is my quote. So on that, let me just tell you a little story about my boys. So I never did the sock thing very well, the pairing, oh, you know, all the either. socks. Who does? So I, um, so I actually bought all boys, and I had three boys, and they were all, uh, well, one is born in 82, 84, 85, so these, these boys. I have an older boy too, but he had his own socks, but these three younger boys. So I would buy... Um, tube socks that went all the way to the knee. Uh -huh. And I think I invented the no-show because every time they'd come out of the toe, I'd sew another seam and they'd just get shorter, shorter, shorter until, you know, I think I, and so I'm, I'm that girl. That's I'm, funny. And so again, it's, uh, what is the first line of the quote? Use it up. Oh, geez. I don't remember. <laughs> Where's the matter We're with our brains today? <laughs> You'd think it was Monday. It's, 
Use, Use it up, up wear it out, it. make it do or do without. That's and so it. this is, that's exactly what this is. So uh, again, you know, uh, I said to kids, why, why can't we do these papers? So um, in the beginning, we used to count them. They're tissue paper. Yeah. This was a highly intensive, uh, yeah. stressful job. And uh, now we do them by caliper measurement. My husband is a machinist, so he has these little calipers and they, they squeeze it and they get, so you get an approximate amount right around 250. Yeah. So 250 sheets, that's pretty good. That it's makes a great deal. You can make you know, quite a few quilts. Quite a few with quilts. That. So let me show you how I do this cuz this is really cool. So we're opening this up and um, we're going to take one of these pieces of paper and you're just going to need scraps and I like to put a um, a middle white strip in my quilts mostly because when you have all this scrappy stuff it um, I like scrappy but I like controlled scrappy oh, and whenever you have cool. one thing that is the same kind of thing it like brings it all together so see this quilt behind me yep. so every one of these blocks right here and this is just a top this has not been quilted because i have more blocks to add to this you like know so many like uh <laughs> like i have so many it's gonna be the blocks. biggest quilt you've ever seen <laughs> yes so um so anyway this is not even quilted yet but uh but this one line even though there's all these different fabrics in it this one line connects it all and brings it together now that's personal preference you can do it if you want to you don't have to but here's how i do it i have a glue stick and this is our lapel stick right here and um, i run a piece of glue side to side corner to corner just like that I don't know, but my slickering didn't work too well either. Still got All right. It. Okay. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna slicker that a little more, right. and then I'm gonna put this on here. Now, um, for me, I tend to uh, I, I'm just a scissor user. You know, yeah. I grew up before using scissors before there was a rotary cutter, and I do love the rotary cutter. And but a lot of times I just use a scissor, and um, also on this end it didn't stick so well. So just put a couple on there till it sticks. A good amount. Yeah. And then yeah, sorry um, about that we lost sound for a second, but it's back. You're back. It's you're back. back. Sorry. All right. All right. So, so this is this. This creates the center for your block. Right. So then you're going to have strips. You can cut them any size you want. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to grab one over here, and uh, and I'm just going to lay these right sides together, and I'm going to sew this on here. And Misty's just going to keep feeding me strips. So as soon as we sew it. We're going to um, roll it back and iron it. Now I'm going to actually sew one to each side okay. because that, for me, it's faster to do two sewings and one ironing. So let's come over here, and I don't cut these until I get them done. So we're at the sewing machine, and um, the other thing is, when you sew on anything with a foundation paper, you have to remember that at the end of the day, all these papers have to be pulled off. Mm -hmm. So if you shorten up your stitch a little bit, just a little bit. I'm going to get on here. There we go. So I'm just going to shorten it up just a hair because when the needle goes through it, it perforates the paper. And if they're a little closer together, it's easier to tear. It is easier to tear. Absolutely. All right. So now I'm just going to fly down this side. It doesn't matter if it's straight. It just matters that it's on there. All right. Ooh. I'm going to cut that and we're just going to cut this off right here. Now I'm just going to lift this up and I'm gonna sew one to the other side. There we go. And Misty picked green again. Sorry, what I picked up? <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> these are called, Mary, what are these called on the? 10 inch paper piecing squares. 10 inch paper piecing squares. That's what you wanna search on the website, on the very, uh, very quilt code. Hold up, Mom's, mom is way too loud. Oh, I'm Wait, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, all right. Okay, so we'll do that again. So if, in case you missed it, the papers are called 10 inch paper piecing squares and you can find those on the Missouri Star website. And I am now going to come over here and I'm going to split these two apart like this press and just open. press them open. You probably, let's move this so they can see. I think he's got you over here. Okay. There we, there we go. go. All right, now let's add some more strips, some more colors. Blue. And then once I have my two down in the middle, what is it? What is it? Um, Misty's really good at ironing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Misty ironed. Okay, yes, Misty is good at ironing. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna just do the same thing. We're just gonna add another strip on. 
you can actually see how this is one of those things where you're just grabbing a strip, putting it on, grabbing a strip. It becomes, yeah. it becomes rote sewing and you just can relax and sew. Oh, it's kind of too right. green. Hold on. Let's it's, see if we can get a, there we, that's a good really one. Really blue? Sure. Okay. Sure, sure. Sounds good. We're gonna need two more. And I'll let you, I'll let you iron these. All right, now I'm just gonna, wait, let me just clip this off and clip this off. You can see where there's no, uh, nobody's being exact or anything. So we, we have one more question of, does it matter how wide the strip is? No. Nope. You're nope, gonna... you can have teeny tiny ones. Have you ever seen the string quilts that are, they're just made with tiny little scraps. Those are, those are amazing, That's really amazing. Hold on me, there we yeah, go. Yeah, you can do, uh, you can do any size you want. Um, also, if you want kind of a wonky look, if you sew that strip on there crooked, guess what? It's not going to matter, yeah. you know? And so it can you're be. you're going to trim it all up. Okay, you? here's another. All right, now you'll see right here, once I start getting, I kind of try to follow the edge so that I don't have a lot of extra fabric over here because that piece of fabric could make another. Like that, I'm gonna come around here. We'll add one of these on. All right, let me clip these off. And then you can iron again. So also, you don't just have to use green. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> or batiks. This is what um, we had. Actually, no, it, it is what we had. But I save, uh, you know, every time I do a quilt, I have a little piece of, fa of fabric left. And I've been saving batiks for a long time because I love them. And, um, and I just thought it would be fun to do this kind of eclectic look. To me, batiks, even though they're, they're vastly different, they still have uh, they still have a quality that makes them seem kind of a, you know the, way, the same ish. You want a little bit bigger. You know. All right. So so once you get to a corner like this, it's uh, I just tend to find one that's kind of wide enough for that whole corner. So that I think piece. I'll go with this one on here. That oh, that's too. perfect. So see this little odd these little odd kind of pieces. They're going to be perfect on these corners. So I'm just going to sew this one on right here. And this one over here. Perfect. Well, somebody said, does you don't need to cut them down to 10 inches then? Not yeah. until the very end. All right, so now you, she's gonna iron that. And she's honestly just rolling those back, press them open. So then I'll show you this magic part right here. Yep. All right, so now you see the back where the paper is right here. This is also under the paper. The paper becomes your pattern. Yep. And so now you just lay your, you lay your ruler right along this edge and you just cut right along the edge like this. This is so gratifying, you guys. <laughs> and then we're gonna put it over here. And then one other side here. And then one more. So easy. Yeah, and then you get this perfect block. Perfect block. Perfect block, isn't that great? So uh, let's actually tear the paper off this so they can see how that works. Okay. Um, I generally just peel a side up, but see how easily this is coming off here? Um, because, you know, you, I made, my, I made my stitch length a little smaller and it just comes off so easy. This is a great thing to have your grandchildren do. Yep. Uh, they can sit and do this while they're watching television or your husband, you know. I hey, actually find hey, it easy. Huh? Easy. <laughs> easy, easy. The husbands are all going, no, 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 no wait, wait, wait. Don't wait. sign me up for that. <laughs> don't sign me up for that. All right. See how cool that is? Super fun. All right, so let's do another one. And Misty, let's, this time, why don't you cut up some strips that are just like all over the place all different sizes so okay. they can see so I'm, i think i think we have people joining still and they're awesome. wondering about the paper again okay what kind of paper is so it? so one more time this is the 10 inch uh paper piecing papers from missouri quilt co you can get them from our website missouriquiltco.com 
Well, I was explaining to them earlier, too, that in the olden days, we used to use telephone book pages. Um, and, uh, but we don't get those too much anymore. And when we do, they're ours is tiny like this, you know. So we Here's get... A bunch um, of different size strips. We get... Um, uh, the, the, these tissue papers were great because we can't get telephone pages. And I did try the hamburger ones, you know, like at McDonald's where they wrap your hamburger. I tried, I would go there and ask for some extra papers periodically and hope they didn't notice or ask me what I wanted them for. But um, I would get some periodic, but they're a little thicker. So they work, they do work, but uh, it's a little harder to tear off. But I said to the kids, why can't we do these? And, um, and they're actually measured by caliper, which is a measuring tool that machinists use. And then my husband's a machinist, so he's the one who started that. But they, they, they squeeze them, and so you get at least 250 in there, uh, give or take. And so now Missy's going to iron these strips. There's all different sizes, and we're just going to start putting them on. Again, I'd like to go side to side on this so that I can sew twice and iron once. And we're just going to do a quarter inch seam. Now, if, say you wanted a narrower strip. If you did a bigger seam, that's going to be a narrower strip. Right. So that's how easy it is to change the size. So I put these right sides down on my center white strip. And again, for those of you who are just joining us, for those of you who are joining us, I like to put a center strip down the center of mine. That can be any color, anything, um, or you don't even need it if you don't like it. I like it because to me it it pulls my quilt together. It gives it a common unity, you know, and I have those, when I have those white strips, but you can do it however you want. Just a, I just glue a strip down the center and then I start sewing from there. The glue stick is called the lapel stick. Yeah, our glue stick is called the lapel stick. And uh, I'll let you iron that. I'll pick Someone out a gave a shout out for the yellow. She said yellow is fantastic. Yellow. Yeah. Ooh, we'll do. Oh, we have a yellow on there. Yeah, we do. All right. How about one of these? Okay. She's got, oh, we got a pink here. Yep. And, um, and when I do this, let me just explain. When I do this, I have a, for those of you who remember TV dinner trays, TV <laughs> trays, you can still get those at Walmart. I don't know if they're called TV dinner trays. They might just be I'm called sure. tray tables or something. Anyway, you can still get those at Walmart. And what I do is I have one of those. I make a little nest for myself. I have one of those where it sits right next to me. And I, I, I bought a wooden one at Walmart. And um, I'm sorry, at any, uh, any variety store, I bought a little <laughs> tray. And I bought the, um, uh, an ironing board cover. And then I just cut a square out of the middle of it and pulled it under and stapled it around this little tray. So that's my ironing tray that sits right next to me when I, when I do this sort right, of thing. Mom, we're going mobile. Going mobile. Oh, He's coming in. He's coming in. See the quilt up close. So we're do a close up on the quilt. All right. Let me trim this off. And uh, and so I have my cutting right next to me. I have my um, I have my ironing right next to me. Ooh, this is a big fatty. Big one. All different sizes. So one of the gals that, um, that well, binds for us, us, Dolores, her husband actually does these kind of string quilts, and he does them with maybe three-quarter inch pieces, and They're he does so them beautiful. circularly. So he puts an angled piece in the center of the paper and just sews around it. That's also a thing you could do. Here, this needs to be ironed. Okay. And that would be so cool because that gives it this whole round effect. You can also do crazy quilts on these paper, you know, which is basically the same thing, only uh, any size square. Um, so your crumb piecing can be done so on the foundation said, piece. What is the question? Somebody said that there is no center stripe on the quilt. You might want to point it out for them. Oh, it's right here. This is the center stripe, see? On, on what, on the quilt? Yeah. Yeah, they weren't, they weren't they seeing, weren't it, seeing the center right. stripe, but it's, it, oh, it just interesting. blends in, but this is what makes the big X and O shape. All right, now we have a tiny, and I'm going to add a tiny to the other side. Okay. I've got more over here, too. This one looks like Easter. This I know, is it's so, so springy. So springy. Well, 
Let me press that. Ooh. I was also wondering for an explanation on the blue in the middle one more time. Okay, perfect. We love the questions, you guys. Anything you want to know, we we're here for you. answer them. Okay. So the glue about the glue. Oh, the glue. <laughs> well, I was going to do that when I stood up, but um, Misty, if you just want to show how you glue down the center of a sure. paper and here's so the still a little that piece. We use the glue for that center stripe is to just hold it steady. Since we're doing a foundation, we just run that straight down the center, corner to corner of the paper, and press this on. So we know that this is going to stay in place, and we're not going to have a bunch of movement. And then we can just all of our other strips to it yeah so normally um, this center strip you would base this down right. or stitch it down or or you'd ri run the risk of putting your strip on there and having that move yep the glue just holds it on there and so then when you go to sew them together they're actually fairly accurate yep. which I like the line that runs through so but again that's preference you don't have right. to glue that down you don't even down. have to do it you could just sew one down this is no stress sewing this this thread this um, uh, what is this called? String quilting. String freezing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like this thread something. <laughs> All right, let me put it. Mom, a, somebody was wondering if you were going to be at the quilt show in Paducah. In April, no. Not at Paducah. Oh, no. Nope. No, our, our stand will be there. So, so Misty's, Misty's dad, dad and mom will, will be there. there. Yes, my parents. <laughs> but her in-laws will be home. Actually, I don't know if we're even going to be home. Probably not. I don't even know what I don't know what date that is. So the the deal with my schedule is that I actually just get a paper and I go where I'm told uh, <laughs> because I can't keep it all in my brain. I mean, that's not entirely true. She gets to decide a little. Oh, bit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, um, um, but she's reminded. But once we decide, yeah. So what happens with the big shows is that BJ, who is Misty's dad, he actually chooses. Here I got this one. Um, a, I don't think that's big enough oh, to cover the I corner. I love that color. Um, we can add it here. Let me see it. Okay, watch this, you guys. Now watch what I'm going to do. See this tiny one right here? I want this strip to show, but I'm close to the corner. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it over here like this. Ah. And so I'm just going to sew that down. And then when we fold this over, we'll still get, some of it. We'll still get that little one. And I'm going to go ahead and put this one on here right now. Perfect. All right. Now if you, Where are you going to be on May 4th and 5th? Oh, May 4th and 5th is actually really cool. So one of the things that's happened with my travel is that um, I was tending to travel out and back and out and back and out and back. And people, you know, lots of people were calling and they wanted, you know, they wanted to have me come to them and we couldn't fit it all in. So we decided to do a thing called Jenny on the Road. Yes. And, uh, and so we're actually... It's, we're calling it a trunk show plus because you we're taking events to you. So we are going to Lehigh, Utah on um, May, May, May 4th, 4th and 5th. And, 5th. Yep. and we're doing a couple of big trunk shows and we have a pop-up shop and we've added a bunch of quilts and ideas to our trunk shows. And I think even Ron, Mr. Jenny is gonna show he a few things. There. He's not very excited about that, but you know, we'll get him up for it. But <laughs> it's just like, come on, Ron. You yeah, know. he'll love it. Anyway, um, so uh, we're doing some fun things with this Jenny on the road. We're doing Lehigh. We're also doing Waco, Texas and Wisconsin later yeah. in the year. So you can go to our site, there's an events button. Mm -hmm. And if you look at that, they'll tell you exactly when they are and where they are. Again, I'm not sure where they are, but I'll be there because yep. somebody will give me a She'll paper. We'll make sure you she's know. there. All right, so take okay, a look at wait, this right here. We have one more question on the paper. She's saying, why the paper? Why are we using paper? Uh, the, on, the only reason you use paper, now you don't have to use the paper, to be honest. You don't have to use the paper. You use the paper because it gives it a foundation so that when you're sewing, um, you know, because honestly, when I crumb piece, mm -hmm. which is a whole different Facebook Live, yes. but when I crumb piece, it's tiny piece of fabric and I put those all together to make a big piece and you, I don't use the paper for that. Right. And so you wouldn't need a paper. This just makes everything line up better. And um, I think at the time it was started, you know, a long time ago, it was because people wanted their blocks to be more precise. Yeah. And so if you're doing anything where a center line is going to line up, it, you, you know, you just want to make it yeah, fairly I think precise. It's for precision, so you can make sure that when you when you square, you're going to get that that you know good square at the end. So see this one right here. I want to point out that I just sewed this one over on the strip right here, 
and then uh, and so it looks like I have a tiny little mm -hmm. strip in there you know two small strips even though this one was white I didn't bother cutting it off yep. so let's go ahead and trim this and see what it looks like also the trimming um, this paper gives you a pattern Right. You know, we have these we have these papers for several blocks that I do. The mm -hmm. periwinkle block is one. Yep. And honestly, you could do it without it. You know, and I tell you, it's thirteen and and a quarter or whatever the di the the uh, um, the measurement is. But um, honestly, this paper is just for ease and and makes it just a little bit straighter. Yep. So let me trim this off here. And see all these little pieces like that? That goes to my crumb box. Yep. <laughs> She's well, not kidding. She has not, all these things. I'm not kidding. <laughs> and I don't save them teeny tiny, but, um, but I do save some pieces that are a little bit small because when we do that crumb quilting, I have a tutorial that I showed some of the crumb quilting in it, but I actually think we should do a Facebook Live on that as it well. It is on the list. Oh, awesome. Yep. See, somebody's going to hand me a paper. Ste Stephanie's already in. She said she'll watch that. Perfect. All right. Glad, Stephanie. So, uh, so again, here's our block, and it's just perfect, and that's what I love. I think that's probably what I love about the paper is that yeah. at the end of the day, it's just perfect. So let's go ahead and take this off. Oh, let me show you. Let me show you how I put these together. Since we've already torn the paper off, does anybody still want, if you want to see the paper, leave a comment. We'll do the tearing of the paper again. In the meantime, let's look at this right here. So when I put these together, um, I like to make sure that my lines, my lines line up. I don't care if these strips are all in different places, which they're going to be. And we don't worry about that. We just put them together and um, you can make any pattern. So you can make the giant O like this. I have some more down here, don't I? Uh, there's Already oh, right here. Sewn. Oh, that's good. Hand me some that are sewn. Okay. So I just saw someone ask, does it have to be a washable glue? Uh, yes, or it'll be hard and lumpy. Mm -hmm. So um, you can actually use um, Elmer's school glue because that washes out. Yeah. You know, that, that works. Yep. Um, also, and we have a lot of votes for tearing the paper. Okay, okay. All right, let's do it. <laughs> so a lot of times I'll put my blocks together like this you know, and I'll have a stack of them going because I like to see my quilt growing. So uh, first I'll sew just two together, then I'll sew four together. And so then I keep them in blocks like this. And then when I put them together, like this block is going to go like right here in the quilt. So that's how, that's how that fits. And, um, and that's how I just put them together. So I can show you, let me sew this one real fast. Okay. So you can see that it doesn't matter where the, um, where the strips are, where we put them together, it doesn't matter. They don't have to match up to anything because we're just sewing. Also remember on these edges, when you, when you cut something like this, mm -hmm. there is going to be a little bit of bias on here. So um, just be careful with that. You know, you can use your spray starch. Uh, you don't want to pull it. You want to let the sewing machine do its job and just let it go through. So I'm just going to match these up top and bottom like this and then just slide it through. Just like that. Easy peasy. Yep, and see that right there? And it just comes out, you know, they're all different places and all over the place, but it's just gonna, it just makes a quick and easy project you don't have to measure. All right, let's tear the paper. All right. All right, I'm seeing all these hearts and thumbs up down here. Get you like it? <laughs> all the hearts. Jake's loving the hearts. We need to get all the hearts for the paper tearing. We want to break the heart. The heart. Machine. Break that heart button for the paper tearing. <laughs> all right. Tearing the paper we are. All right. All right. So, Misty, do you want to try this so you sure, can see how yeah. easy it is? It's, it's so easy. It just pulls right So, Misty there. has three little grandchildren, and they're all the right age where I can, well, like... Well, they're my children. I don't yeah, have oh, grandchildren. Yeah, no. I have three little grandchildren that are Misty's. Yes. <laughs> Anyway, they're all the right age where I can actually talk them into doing this That's kind of true. thing. You know? not, not too old yet. <laughs> no, they're... And probably I could talk Isaac, who is my other grandson who's sitting over here. He does a lot of our editing for us. He might tear one or two, but I don't think I could keep him busy all night. No. <laughs> He's like shaking his head. He's like, ah, maybe not, Grandma. Probably not. And they also talked about the one right with the glue. What do you mean the one with the glue? This one right oh, here? Comes like, right is off. it harder? Is it easier? So if you tear it off right away, it's going to be still stuck a little bit. If you wait like a half an hour, yeah. you know, just sew a bunch and set them aside. Let's and be then honest, Mom, three still, months if we wait three If you wait months. three months, if it sits in your <laughs> closet sit in a baggie. For, for a year. So for a year. It'll be fine. It'll be great. 
it actually just gets easier to tear off. It's just like no big deal to tear it off at all. So anyway, uh, what else do you want to know? Yeah, any other Are, questions? Or how about other questions even not related to this? Yeah. Oh, we also, I, we brought this baby quilt version oh, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we bring that? Can well, we zoom in over he here? I think can go see it, yeah. So this, this was, was a little one, one that I did um, that hung in the shop years ago when we, we weren't open very long. Mm -mm. And, uh, and I did a, this tiny, see, you can hardly see this tiny gray strip down the center. So it's, I think this was maybe a, uh, it's got to be a one inch piece. Mm -hmm. So maybe if you can um, just come in because the, it doesn't stand out because it blends, but All I right, did. Bear with us, we're going See right mobile. here? So this little, it, this was a one inch piece and we put it in the in the center of all these blocks right here. And then we did a little uh, inch sashing, one and a half inch sashing right here. Yep, so And cute. separate them up, but all the blocks are running the same direction. Yeah, so and, you can see a different setting. Oh, sure, yeah. There's all kinds of settings, all ways to set it. And it just looks, I mean, it just looks, it's just fun and so easy fun. quilting. You I know? agree. So, so if you have fabric that you love that you're not sure what to do with or scraps of things, this is also great for memory quilts. Like, you know, yeah. if you have shirts, you want to cut up all the different plaids. Yeah. Can you imagine how cool that looked? with? That would with, be awesome. Now I want to see one. I so know. if you make it look, one. It looks so cool with all the different, like men's plaid shirts. Yeah, that would look awesome. I do spend a lot of time in the thrift store. <laughs> I love she's the best like if you ever need a costume we just call her and she is like in heaven she's like oh i am on it and she hits every thrift store. what you want a suede vest i got yeah, it it's the best that's the greatest i love that my fun's in the hunt you know i'm kind of a scavenger awesome. all right so what other questions do we have yeah any more because i'm feeling like we're i know it seemed I'm, like it went I'm, fast i'm feeling like we're uh we're at a good time but still Somebody, somebody, somebody's asking how many jelly rolls it would take to make 120 by 120, a king size quilt. Okay, so here's the general rule on jelly rolls. One makes a twin, mm -hmm. two makes a queen. Three is going to make way more than a king, but if you want them all from the same line, you'll have to buy three mm -hmm. or put your own in. Um, I actually, do, I've never made, I've never measured because I always use scraps, yeah. but I know that from the jelly roll. So a jelly roll is almost three yards of fabric. Mm -hmm. Um, about two and three quarters, but okay. you're going to lose a half an inch every time you take a seam. So don't, you know, you have to kind of put that into your. Yeah. People thought are process. wondering the paper size. Paper size is ten by ten. Yep, ten inch square. Because everything I do. Oh, so here's the other cool thing. So if we took a solid ten inch square, oh, yeah. and put this on this, think yep. about I'll the way. Think about the way I do um, half square triangles, where I put a solid square right on the top, and we sewed all the way around it, and then cut this diagonally both directions. You you're going to get, it? I mean, it's going to be a whole different, then you have Where did like she go? half I'm square coming. triangles, then you have half square triangles with, uh, you know, with your stuff. The other thing is here, uh, actually, I'm going to, I'm going to cut a few of these. So I'm going to, we're going to experiment. We're just going to experiment for one more little thing. You guys thing. get to see how Jenny's brain works <laughs> all the time. <laughs> this is how my brain works. It is. <laughs> I'm like, oh, wait a minute. What if we do? Yeah, no. I'm not sure. I think I think everybody's getting tired of this. Are you? What? I don't think so. Yep. Oh, do you like... want to see me cut one up? Send some hearts if you do. Yeah. <laughs> We're just pitiful. Yeah. yeah. Please, please watch me cut one up. <laughs> yeah. Let us know. All right. So um, basically, this is my ruler. It's five by fifteen. It's set. I made it so that it would work perfect on the pre-cuts, and you can. You, so this is a ten-inch square. So we're going to line up right up along the edge. And um, I did this a bunch because I decided on one of my quilts, I didn't want big squares. I wanted little squares. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to see what happened. So then I'm going to cut this in half and then in half again. So again, I just lay my ruler on the sides and I'm going to cut it in half and in half. Well, then you get this right here. So what's cool about that is that these, can, these are standalone. These are standalone in their own little quilt like this. You know, you have your own little X's and O's if you want. Um, or this way, yep. you know, so they're different. You, you have your own little squares you can do. Um, these ones over here, they've lost their center strip. And so then it's a whole nother world out here. So then you can run them the same way. You can run them opposites. You can put them together. You know, yeah. if and we, because of those lines, you still get like, you, an you still get the look. Pattern, yeah. Absolutely. You still get the look and it, uh, it just makes it really, really cool. So, um, don't be afraid to change the size of yours. Yeah. If you do one of these, uh, if you want to make them half square triangles, you can, you can. Everybody's turning on, everybody's everybody's turning on me now. They are. No. <laughs> yep, they are not They never get tired of your idea. Jake, they, they are never tired. 
<laughs> That's your kids for you right there. That's your kids for you. <laughs> he, said he just wants a break. <laughs> he just wants, he just a, wants break. to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if we, um, the reason I did, we did our papers 10 inches was so that they could match up with the pre-cuts. Exactly. So if you, like say you did uh, one of these, then you could put a solid and another one and a solid. I mean, you can do anything so with them. So many options. Which includes like if you're going to sew this right here and you're going to sew all the way around it and cut it diagonally both directions. Let's just do that. Yeah, let's see what it does. All right. Well, I know what it does. Of course you do. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just sewing a quarter of an inch all the way around my square. And you know what? Triang triangles around the world would look so cool with this. One more, let me move over one more, get closer, quarter inch. Somebody said to try the disappearing nine patch Oh with this my one. gosh, that what would be would so cool. That would be cool. <gasps> you know what would happen? You know what, if you never wash it, you can. If you wash it, uh, they don't dissolve. They don't dissolve, but I don't think they'd really cause a problem either. They might get mushy, but then you'd dry them in the dryer. So you might have some you real might just have like lumps. crispy be, parts. It'd be real crinkly, probably. All right. So now we took one of these squares, sewed it all the way around the outside with a solid I just, square. I just have to point out this camera. They, they fit. They figured this out. They said it's lunchtime and I'm hungry. Oh, they have. And so, somebody says, give, somebody says, give the cameraman a Snickers. Yeah. So, that's a great, that He's a angry. <laughs> that's my son, Jake, by the way. <laughs> the cameraman. All right, here we go. I'm going to cut this this way and I'm going to cut this this way. Now I can see right now that cutting this this way is going to cut right in the middle of my yep, white lying. strip which means, whoops, don't slide, which means that the, that strip is now just gonna become one of the strips. One of the, yep. All right, so here's what we got. So we've got, let's, let's open these up. Want me to press them? So every strip now has a white strip on the edge. I don't know what that's gonna do, Misty. I, I don't know, let's see. Uh, yeah, that, is, sounds, that could be really cool. Jake, you be watching this. Jake's really good with, with he'll look at something I'm doing, he'll be like, mom, have you thought of this? You know, so, all right. So now we have, if we want to put this together as a pinwheel, let's see, wait, wait, here we go. <laughs> what's your, no, what's your right. rhyme, mom? What's the rhyme? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I have a little mantra that I always say, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, all seems to the center. That's my little mantra. That little all strip right. was throwing me off with the light, dark. Yeah, but isn't that interesting? That's so fun. I mean, then now you have a pinwheel that just whoosh, yeah. you know, it has all kinds of movement to it. Yeah. You know, again, you can put them together. Yeah, that's this. awesome. It's almost like it's framed in. Yeah. You can put them together again this way. Yeah. You can put it together so that it's, uh, okay. your whites are out. Or and then like flying geese. Oh, flying geese would be awesome. And look, you have that little white strip in the center like that. Yeah. Oh, and then it's going to go this way. Yeah. How cool is that? So, so all fun. kinds of things you can do with this strips because once you get a 10 inch square, well then it becomes like a pre-cut. So then you can actually scroll down through our app and look at all the pre-cut, all the 10 inch square pre-cut quilts and anything we did with this you can do because now it's a 10 inch block. Exactly. So uh, so we hope you enjoyed that. This That's has been right. a lot of fun this today. It's been so fun. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Yeah. As always, if you missed the beginning or you have any questions, please go back when we wrap up, you can catch the, the whole thing again it'll be posted on uh youtube and facebook and perfect Jenny, thank you for being thank, here yeah thank everybody for uh, tuning in yeah we thanks some great so people much. On here. thanks for tuning good, in really good comments yep. thanks to our camera people yep and we thanks will, to mary who's over there yeah, waiting for us she's the greatest <laughs> and we will see you next week tuesday at 11 a.m central we'll Standard see you time. later have yeah. fun strip quilting